Well, this is a chance for the nation now to get a little more familiar with this version of the, the Chargers. Indeed. What is this team's identity? I say just domination. Uh, just any way we can dominate. Um, coming out, taking, what's, taking what we want, taking what's ours, and um, just that, just coming in and dominating. And how would you describe this offense that you're part of? Elite. <laughs> Elite. Uh, so many weapons. Um, everywhere. Uh, started with the offensive line, uh, brought in Pouncey this year. It's been amazing. Um, I think he's just in, in control of the whole line. He has those guys working amazing, uh, receiving. Everybody's catching the ball, touchdowns. Um, you know, it's just fun playing with guys who, who can just make plays, you know. Um, tight ends, they do the same thing. Uh, running backs, uh, they, they're obviously what, how we move. So there it is. And then Phil, he's our leader, so he's going to take us. You say he's your leader, but would you say he's the emotional heartbeat of this team or is someone else bringing the emotion? The emotion, I, yeah. I feel, feel definitely brings the passion. I like to say I bring the emotion and passion myself. So um, that, I think that's how I lead. Uh, if I do lead, I'm, I'm not a big talker. I just like to play my game, get my job done, and I'm going to show some emotion and uh, be passionate about it. Feel feels kind of both, so. <laughs> Well, you did your job, as did a lot of you last week, when you just made every catch that was thrown your way. When did it become apparent to you that something record-breaking was going on here? I, I never thought about it until um, Phil said it. Phil said it. He said, I just, I just threw an incompletion. I'm like, dang, that sucks. <laughs> I didn't know you. I, I'm thinking like, oh, it's like eight or nine passes. That's what's up. That's 25, though. <laughs> and then I figured out I was the one who caught the touchdown pass. I was like, wow, that's crazy. 25 in a row, that's pretty good. So during it, you weren't thinking, oh, we can't break this streak, because you didn't know. No, I didn't know. I had no, no idea. Would you rather that the Chargers get this national attention, or do you prefer the fly under the radar thing? Um, I'm, both is pretty good. It depends on how you take it. Um, I, think, I think we're ready for it. Um, you know, last year they put us on the on the big game, and we, we I don't think we were ready for it. I think this year we're going we're to be ready. Um, you know, we've been here before, and um, this year we got some older guys. So it's interesting, and you've heard it. Chargers, full of talent, both sides of the ball, but they just keep coming up short. Why is this season different? Um, like I told you, we've been there before. Um, we, we've heard it all before. Like like you just said, we've heard that before. Um, and we have coming up short, and I don't think we want to do that again. And uh, we know how it feels, and um, you know, I think we're ready to move past that. It's one thing to decide, yeah, we don't want to go through that again. It's a whole other thing to execute in order to avoid it. How do you think you guys have been able to do that? I think Coach has just been installing it at us uh, every week, um, just coming in, just like I just told you, our identity. Uh, take what's yours. Uh, don't let anybody um, control what's in our way. Uh, we want to control everything that's going on, and um, that's, what, that's what we're trying to do. You have two kids. Phil's waiting on his ninth. <laughs> um, does it feel like there's a generation gap on this team with Philip? Oh man, yes. Oh, no question. Him and Gates. I think their first year in the league, I was in sixth grade, maybe fifth grade. It's crazy. We talk about it all the time. They say it all the time. I was running these routes and you was pooting in the bed and stuff like that. So <laughs> we talk about it all the time. Yeah, they're pretty old. So. This the knowledge that they can give us, though, is just that much greater. And um, like I said, that's why they're our leaders. So. Are there conflicts over, you know, what music's going to get played in the locker room? Nah, no way. Uh, nah, Phil loves it all. Uh, Gates, he loves it all. And, um, you know, I mean, we're pretty mixed, though. We play pretty, pretty good music. Um, it's usually pretty good music, so. Given that he's ancient, and no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> ancient. <laughs> what, what is Phillip's best attribute as a quarterback? Um, I think it's just knowledge. Um, just him knowing everything um, as far as knowing what the defense is going to do, knowing the game plan that we have, knowing the plays that we want to get to when we're going up against a certain defense that they're showing. And uh, he knows how to get to it every time, no matter what they show. Uh, he knows the correct line adjustments to pick up the blitzes where we don't have to throw hots and stuff like that. So um, I don't think you can't teach stuff like that. Um, that's, that's just time and being under the starting position. <laughs> Time and repetition. Yeah. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.